All right, so here we have a um, complete walk cycle, eight poses right here. Um, I used reference images to help out, as some of or many of you have done, um, using the character sketches that you have done from um, our walk cycle drawings. Um, these are essentially becoming our key poses, right? These are our main keyframes. Um, that I've done and traced and made some modifications if needed. Um, I used the guidelines to help out with keeping him level and keeping him to scale. Um, and that's gonna be important because later, uh, or what I'm, the next step is gonna be is to add tweens. And tweens are gonna be the video, or not the video, the, the animations that you add in between your key poses. So here's key pose one, key pose two, Key pose three, four, five, and so on. So as I keep going, um, you'll see these key poses. Um, I'm not sure why these have turned into symbols, but I'm going to undo that real quick. Um, maybe you won't have that issue to deal with. So let me break that apart and we're good. All right, so key pose one, two, through eight. So I have these key poses. They're all set five frames apart from each other, um, which is which is good. Um, it's a good round number to, to keep my key poses um, for a walk cycle because there's so much movement and so many things happening. Um, it's better to have more key poses than not. Um, now what I want to do is add the tweens, right? Tween is basically just short for in-betweens. Um, there's a position in the animation field called the in-betweener or the tweener. And basically what that is, you have an artist that takes care of these poses that you've already done and you've separated by five frames. Um, then what they would do is hand the project over to the in-betweener and they would go back and um, add the in-between animations. And so I'm just keeping it simple and I'm only adding one in-between pose between each of these key poses right here. So one and two, I'm gonna do a pose right here. So I'm adding one in here that's not already here. And so to do that, I'm gonna get this frame ready. Um, I'm on frame three. So here's frame one, frame two is gonna be blank. Frame three is gonna have um, my new animation on it. Frame four is gonna be blank. And frame five is where my new pose, where that second key pose is. So I'm gonna to go to frame three and I'm gonna press F7 on my keyboard. And what that does is it doesn't delete what you have, but it clears out this gap right here for new animation. Now what's gonna help is that you turn on your onion skin. And so you can see both, you can see the range right here. I only wanna see the pose before and the pose after my tween that I'm gonna add. What you don't need to see are all of the extra poses out here. That is way too confusing. So you don't even wanna see that. I just wanna see that range right there. And so you can adjust the range of what you see. If you don't see both poses then you might not have to adjust this little slider here so that you can see both the pose before and key pose after. So now I'm ready, I've got this layer selected and this frame selected, frame three, what I'm gonna do is zoom in a little bit, hold space bar and shift my stage upwards. I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna look at filling in the space, the transition between this pose, notice where his legs and his arms are, and this pose, okay? There's not a whole lot of difference, but there's enough that you can make it a lot smoother. So with this frame selected and my brush chosen, I'm going to kind of split the difference between these two poses. The tall one here is my contact pose. So this kind of darker bluish gray is my um, um, contact pose. So that'd be my key, my key pose number one. This Greenish one is my second pose. So what I'm gonna do is kind of split the difference between those by drawing, um, we'll start with the head. 
it seems to be easiest for me. And that brush is way too big. So I'm going to knock that down a little bit smaller. And draw out my pose. So essentially, you're, you're drawing a new frame in between. Hence the name tween. So I see the difference here between these two arms. So all I'm going to do is kind of draw an arm over those. Or in between them, I guess. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because any little change and transition between these two key poses is going to help out tremendously. And so I see his elbow here. So let's see how I'm kind of just working in between these two poses. His body a little different because he lowers down in that um, in that low recoil pose. His leg, notice the difference between this line and this line with his leg. So what I'm going to do is kind of split the difference there. Maybe not as much of a bend in his leg because um, this pose, it bends a lot. This one, not so much. And so I'm going to kind of find a happy medium between the two. His body here goes up. And his leg placement Something like that. So I'm going to turn off onion skin so you can see what I've done. So here's the new pose that I've added in. See where it's at, right in between my two key poses. This is my tween. And so if I go from this pose to this pose, it's a big movement. Now, if I go from this pose to this pose to this pose, see how it eases in a lot smoother, right? And then it gets real choppy again. So that is what tweening is, and that's what you're going to be doing for um, these spaces in between your key poses. So now I have a new key pose I need to add in. So for this full eight pose walk cycle, I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's going to be one that comes after this because it's going to transition from, from this key pose and it needs to transition back to this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go and add in F7 in between these two poses. Turn on my onion skin, and it's already set to the right range that I need. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna create a transition pose between these two. There's a big difference between his arm motions from here to here. Um, so what I'm going to do is keep that in mind. And try to position it the best way that you see fit. Um, his body comes down here. His body... In this arm to this arm, there's probably a little bit of change from here. To there, because his arm is kind of going, um, it, his arm is kind of tricky because in this pose right here, his other arm is hiding behind his body. In this pose, you see them both clearly. In my pose, it's going to be somewhere in between. Turn onion skin back on. And this can be a little tedious. This is part of it. 
Okay, so I see his leg here and his leg here. So there's going to be a good transition between um, these two legs that are planted on the ground. Check my work. That leg looks kind of funny, but okay. So this leg goes from being in the back to being in the front. So my leg needs to be somewhere in between. This is the opposite leg right here. So this new leg is gonna overlap it and I'll have to make some eraser marks. So I can see where I need to make my eraser here. I can see where this line can come forward. So I'll choose my eraser and erase this as needed. And see the transition now from this pose to this pose. Now it goes from this pose to here to here. Smoother transition adds, makes for smoother animation. Okay, see how that works. So I'm going to continue down the line and I'm going to do these next steps. Okay, here is my next pose that I've completed. So this one right here fills in between this pose and this pose. So now it's a smoother transition between those. I'm going to continue on to the next one. All right, so I've gone through and completed all the rest of the frames in between. And so it leads to a much more smooth transition between all of those. So again, key points here is that you have already completed your key poses that are five frames apart. And it's very important that you space them out correctly because it adds it keeps your timing to the perfect space to animate by twos because in between each of those key poses you're adding in your tween which are these these are not the ones that you had included in your original character walk cycle drawings these are ones that kind of fill in the spaces and make for a smoother transition between those drawings. And so here we have, oops, let's see here, break apart. And I see a little straight line that I need to take care of. And with that, that is pretty much it. Um, that is tweening in between your key poses. That's all.